guys it's literally half past five in the morning and my dad just bought my valentine's gift like guys i'm so proud of this bag because well on another level babe guys there's no one else got 5 a.m there's no one else yo no one else there's no other guy who's just gonna pass this one like my dad but yeah hey yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you gotta go sleep i'm about to open my gift though Guys, I woke up with her. <laughs> What's the time now? Half <laughs> past five. five in the morning. We can still have fun for now. No, I never wanna play happy families with you, but I like having you around. I'm fully aware this is a flash in the pan, but we can still have fun for now. Yeah, we can still have fun for now. Oh, we can still have fun for now. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Chocolate underscore Coffee, and we're back with another video. So, guys, today this is my class, guys. This is my class. This is my everyday class. I drink with this class every day, twenty four seven. But anyway, so today we are here. We will be checking out uh, AKA's footage. I will be like. Giving you guys my point of view, my review on it. Like on my first video, if you guys watch my first video, my weekend vlog, that's when I found out that AK has passed on. And Mina, my reaction was that his friends had something to do with it. And watching the footage, it's so sad that his friends had something, one of his friends had something to do with it. My bigger footage, when you look at the footage, like there's a part where the friend signs something to that guy who's coming and it's so funny how he moves away and then he has a conversation with some other guy on top of that like guys what's okay yo this thing okay let me fix this quickly guys i had said it Jorge, nobody knew aka was there except for his friends um as you check the footage like the guy who was wearing the white shirt i think he was wearing a white shirt uh he was out first before aka even went out like i feel like he only he organized everything he knew what was gonna happen at what time and like he kept on posting and every time i got posted he kept on showing aka's face so it was making me you know at first but after seeing the footage guys it's for me to confirm Horena, his friends knew something about this. Guys, don't take me wrong. I don't want to be taken to court for this, for this nonsensical thing. But it's just my point of view on the entire accident. And, you know, I feel like his friends knew what was going to happen. I, I, w I wouldn't say all his friends, but especially the one who went out before all of them who were standing outside like it's so crazy what you even if we am signing it's sharp like it, it's cool you can jump the road do you understand you're telling me this guy couldn't see this guy across the road 
of course you if you're vigilant and there's this guy crossing the road of course you're gonna look you're looking everywhere you tell me what this guy didn't know this guy was coming towards them so like the minute a person crosses the road or if you're outside of course you're looking at every move number one it's at night it's not safe and i believe hurry when you're outside and it's not safe you're gonna look around there's no such thing where you didn't look around and uh, you didn't see the person or oh, that's a lie that's a lie that's really a lie guys this guy knows something he knows something definitely he knows something he knows everything mm -mm. it's it's dodgy it's very really dodgy okay, this guy doesn't know anything he's clueless you tell him he didn't see this guy coming Hmm? And worst part, he was facing the same direction this guy came in. He knew when to tag. Marafana tag, he knew good to handle tag. Man, Java bullets are so cool. Man, just so yes, in so so cool. Hmm, Zakala man, he knew good to yes, in Zakala in the second. He saw this guy coming. This guy had a gun in his hand. He saw him coming. Hmm, he saw him coming. Mara, you decided to keep quiet. What tag? You you know something, Anyek? Never. You don't know nothing when I was next. Like this guy had a gun in his hand. He didn't pull it when he got to AKA. He already had it in his hand. So he's telling me when he was pointing it, cause he took time. He, no, he pointed the gun before he even got to AKA. So he's telling me this guy didn't see this guy with the gun. He saw this guy with the gun. Everyone was facing that way. When they were facing this way. When we won, we're facing this way. You're telling me you didn't see this guy with the gun. You saw him. You saw him coming. You saw him coming. He knew he was going to come. Like, everything was just painted, guys. Like, I feel like the, the, their plan was so dumb. And my question is that with this investigation, um, are there no, are, like, are there no CCT footages around the area? They could have seen the car drive past. In any um, cause apparently they have they have a footage model and the person the, the person who was driving the car that, that this guy went into. So under um, around that street or around that neighborhood, there's no other CCTV footage. There are CCTV footage. The um, after the robots, there's a building next to you. Tell me that building does not have a CCTV CCTV footage. Alright, guys. children go to ban aka films with. I just feel like the police are not doing their job. There's so many deaths. Just like, example, that guy, Waga, um, what's this guy's name? The one that, uh, what do you call this? The goal, is it a goalkeeper? Yeah, the goalkeeper that passed on, uh, that got shot in his own home. So he's telling me, Hore, this case has been going on for these years and you guys have nothing in your hands. Uh, cops must, must stop taking private, guys. Cops must just stop taking bribery. This is this is not okay. Because people are dying because of guns and guns are being sold illegally every day. Like we're living in a life where we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, guys. With our future as like us as the UK, I would say we're the youth, like we're the next youth. Um our like our future is just it's sad because everything like a lot of things happen every day that we don't even know about like people are dying left and right and animals are being poached do you think oh, your son or your daughter will be able to get a chance to see a rhino you know because rhinos are being killed every day you know people are being killed every day there's tigers on the loose like guys today there was like this thing at marking malibongwe drive or something like that guys our future Anjay, is like me me south africa i've literally given up on south africa i'm not gonna lie i've given up on south africa if i ever get a chance to go study in america i would take it with no doubt like i wouldn't even blink an eye like have a Yo, America, uh, University of UK, or whatever it's called, Yungile, uh, literally, or Harvard, or whatever, Tokyo, you're going to America, I'm packing my bags now, I'm not even thinking about, 
Yo, my family, yo, my family, I'll see when you come back. I'm not about to pull up with this low shedding because, like, we, we never get to do things because of this low shedding. When you're about to start something, it's dark already. Get low shedding. Like, yo. Guys. South Africa, South Africa is a scam. South Africa is a scam. Like, yo, South Africa, I'm a no, guys. We need to, let's start. Okay, go back to the parliament first. Let's go to the parliament number one. Yo, ah, uh ah. -uh. You know, if you can remove those Goko and Nabum Kulus there at the parliament and put youth inside, there's so many people who are looking for jobs. There's so many people who study economics. Guys, there's so many people who are out there doing their best with their lives. There's so many people with degrees. But I'm sitting at home and I must put my life into South Africa. I must invest. I must become a doctor to come and serve people from South Africa. Our doctors are not giving, are not getting, um, maybe Zan, the money that they deserve, number one. People are working at Bara where they're stealing beds and oxygen, ICU uh, machines. Like, guys, but home, you're stealing ICU machines for what? South Africans, for what? For. Yo, yo, I'm tired of anxiety. Like, I'm petulant, but I'm busy anxiety. Like, South Africa is, uh, uh, guys, South Africa is not a place to move into. Number one, we're like us, we are hamba, mofu, na. Like, there's so many people out there who who don't have jobs but have degrees. People are getting. Text like it's nobody's business. They, now they're giving us 350. Like, what do you expect us to do with 350? No, please tell me. What do you expect us to do with 350? 350. At that time, the president, it doesn't even buy him a shoelace, that 350. It doesn't even buy him one shoelace. But he's telling us we should feed ourselves for the whole month with that 350. That's because it's scam. That's because it's scam. Those goggles now I'm cool up the parliament are getting about my eighty to hundred K per month, I'm sure. But our people are struggling in shakes, guys. People are struggling in shakes. We might not see it. I might be living here in the burbs, nyana, you know, covered by these walls. I don't see what's going on outside. But I know that my people are struggling. My people don't have jobs. My people are sleeping kahanga. People are living with the rats in their houses, quite Alexandra. Like, guys, please, please give us value. Put price, getting price tags on our names. Like me as, if, like me as youth. Like I don't believe in South Africa. I don't think this is the place I would ever want to settle in. Do you understand? Like, so, like South Africa is going on the road to Zimbabwe at this point. We're going to end up like Zimbabwe. Kiss. We are going to really end up like Zimbabwe, where we don't have nothing. Like, we don't have nothing at all. Nothing at all. People who kill our parents, people who kill our uncles are running scot-free on the streets, killing other people, but still scot-free. Like, you watch these shows, and you see young girls being killed, women being kidnapped. And, you know, as long as you say, if you don't feel that thing but guys i feel like we might be safe in our own homes but at the same time not safe like you might say going out is dangerous even being at home is not safe also because someone can attack you in your own house now as girls we even scared to go outside you know we even scared like to even request guys it, you can't even re request at night like we don't even trust these bolts and ubers because we never too sure you know because it's pregnant lady who got kidnapped and got killed by an uber driver so like i don't understand i don't even understand how people get into the uber systems and put themselves there must request that google acceptable now do you understand like it's sad how we are not safe as a young girl like i don't feel safe in south africa at all yes i would go out but i don't feel safe like even your uncles and your grandfathers be asking for our numbers like ah uh, uh, guys no 
like i don't feel safe in this country at all and these police are not doing their jobs in jebas boa guys i was just here to pop my heart to you guys please look after yourselves guys work hard grab every opportunity you can get to get a better life because this life no balance this life we're living in no balance no balancing in this life so please guys look after yourselves work hard you know do you you know focus on yourself like most importantly and mental health is also like a big thing in our country we don't focus on it because as black people i think we believe oh, there's no such thing as mental health you gotta be strong into daikali you know um you know those kind of things like they don't let us to be emotional they don't let us to be vulnerable they don't let us to you know guys there's so many words i want to use like this is so heartbreaking because people are dying people are committing suicide and you don't take it serious the mental person called suicide yeah you know why do we have to cry for him or whatever but you don't even know what what pushed that person to that extent would he that person even considers to commit suicide do you understand like mental health is a really big problem you know also people end up taking drugs because of situations at home they use drugs to suppress um they use drugs to suppress um, my feelings wabo you know how they feel they how to to cover up those kind of emotions in them because they can't express them to, to, to the society a guy cannot express that he's been raped to society because Muslim Shaga, you know, you get to a police station and you're trying to report something serious and they just not laugh you off. So like I feel like South Africa is going to the worst. Like this every day there's something new. We never like one incident cannot last the whole week. Like we have I'm sure ten incidents in one week that we have to talk about or that we have spoken about so guys as the youth can you please take care of ourselves can we please look after ourselves please guys you know work hard grab every opportunity you can get you know do you like work for you like you're not doing it for anyone but yourself like at the end of the day you're gonna get the paycheck nobody else no matter how i don't know totally the person is mara they can't steal anything that is yours. They can steal your car, yes, but they can't steal your degree. They can't steal your matric certificates. They can't steal those kind of things. Those things say your name and your surname. Those things are yours. Do you understand? So, guys, please work hard. Like, please, guys, just get out of South Africa. Do yourself a favor. Even though, guys, I know some people are saying, Kore, we study and, you know, you get your degrees, you get your doctorates and you... You know, you get all your your orders, your masters, but you still stay at home. Um, I told him and that's hard, cause I'm scared that, what if Linda, I'm one of those people that I am going to do my degree and finish it, but still not get a job and still not be required in this country. Like, stay at home, get that three fifty, but I have a degree. Like, that's kind of like fucked up. Sorry for my language, but that's really fucked up, guys it's sad like it's really sad because then you don't know where your your life lies people end up stealing guys because of this kind of thing they need to feed their families you know at the end of the day that 350 is not doing nothing you know at the end of the day that 350 is not doing nothing at all guys 350 is nothing is nothing what you're gonna buy fish oil is like almost like 150 guys Half of that money is gone. It's literally gone. At the same time, this electricity thing. And yeah, I mean, guys, are shorter at this point. Like, South Africa is just something else. South Africa is something else. Guys, just look after yourselves. Look after yourself. Like, I felt like it's a good thing that I speak to you guys about this because then it concerns us more than, more than anyone else. Yo guys, I can about today. Get past. I go by little forgiving. I get past. Forgive me. I'm just. I'm just hurt by this thing. Like it hurts me to the point where I can't even. Like I'm lost of words. 
at this point i'm lost of words guys please look look after yourselves take care of, take care of yourselves Ooh, we're all oh jehov sorry sorry take care of yourselves look after yourselves you know grab every opportunity you can get it's your girl chocolate underscore coffee and i'll be back with another video for now i'm gonna love and leave you happy valentine's my valentine's i love you guys i hope you guys have a great week i had a great valentine's day i'm sure you guys saw the videos but anyways guys let me love and leave you bye